Hi there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. All right, two weeks ago, I left you with a real cliffhanger. I showed you this incredibly cool command that I found in another product called DraftSite called Power Trim. Thanks, Marco, for showing me. Who doesn't want a command called Power Trim? Hello, and I was sad because we didn't have a Power Trim in AutoCAD, and I showed you how to do a version of Power Trim. Now, I promised you that I would show you how to automate it this week because we don't like to do any extra picks or clicks, right? Just say no to picks or clicks. Let me show you what I'm talking about in case you're just now tuning in. This is my version of Power Trim. Now I made this incredibly cool icon and tool that I put on the quick access toolbar so we could get to it really easily. And I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So basically though, it's just simply a matter of moving your cursor through anything that you want to trim. How easy is that? Awesome, make the little letter G there. Awesome, very cool. I know you want that. I know you want it. All right, so I'm gonna hit an extra enter to get out of that command. Let's undo that. In order to do to customize it yourself, you're gonna to have to know the manual steps. So let's recap. I'm gonna go into the trim command. I hit an extra enter to select all. Okay, nothing highlights. A little game, AutoCAD plays with this. You F for fence, enter, and then I can do the same thing that you just saw automated. I just don't like having to do all that work, right? But nevertheless, that's how it works. Move your cursor through whatever. It does this fence, and then it does this great version of power trim. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna undo that as well. How do we automate it? Okay, to so automate it, we need to go into the CUI. No, Lynn, I don't wanna go into the CUI. Yes, you do. It's not as bad as it seems. We're gonna make it easy. I'm gonna go into the CUI, the customization user interface, and we're gonna add a command. Here's a tool right here. We're gonna add, now we already have power trim in here, so we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna call it super trim. I'm gonna click on this create a new command. And over here I have this open slate. What do I wanna call it? I would like to call it soup, super trim. All right, the description. This will show up on the tooltip. Trims with superpowers. Oh yeah. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Command display name. This will also show up in the tooltip. It also happens to be called Super Trim. You can call it whatever you want, whatever makes you happy. Now the scary part, the reason that everybody goes, no, not the CUI, is because of these macros. It's just easy. I want you to see that a carrot C, carrot C, in case you wonder what that character was. What does that mean? It basically means two control Cs. Think of control C now does copy clip, but in the old days, it used to do cancel. So when it comes to programming macros, those caret C, caret C does two cancels. Why would I wanna do that? In case you're already in an existing command, you need to get out of that command to go into this super trim command. So by default, whenever you create a new tool, you'll see that that macro populates with caret C, caret C. I didn't type it in, it was already there. So you don't have to fully understand it. Just know that that's gonna cancel you out of any existing command. And there's two of them because it used to be quite a few commands that took two escapes or two cancels or two control C's, whatever, to get out. There aren't so many of those anymore. I don't even know if I can name any of them, but just in case, this guy's gonna get you out of any existing command. All right, move along. <laughs> it's there by default. You don't have to listen to me. Just leave it, don't mess it up. Now I'm gonna go into the trim command, right? Trim, and what did I do after I type in trim? I do an enter. And the way you tell a macro to do an enter is with a semicolon. I always wondered what good are semicolons. Now you know, they're great for doing an enter in a macro. What's the next question in the trim command? What do you want for the cutting edges? What did we do? We hit an extra enter to select all. What, another semicolon. Hit an extra enter to select all. Then what did we do? Then we did an F for fence. F for fence, and then what? Enter. You have to literally think about every step that you're doing along the way. So another semicolon, I'm done. That is my super trim, power trim, whatever you want, ultimate trim, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> All right. And that's pretty easy so far. Now, I do want to give it an, an icon, So because right now it doesn't have an icon. So literally, you just pick any tool up here. We're not going to replace this tool. We're going to edit it and save it under a different name. So I'm going to go ahead and hit edit. doesn't matter which one you pick. I'm going to clear that baby, because we're going to draw our own. Oh, yeah. 
you're gonna do a better job at this than me. I have no artistic ability whatsoever. I'm just gonna draw the letter S for super trim. You can see that there's an erase up here in circles. I'm just gonna just use the little pencil. I'm gonna change the color and mix it up and change it to magenta, a color that most of us wouldn't know were it not for AutoCAD. Okay, draw your S, which looks a lot like a five. Doop, doop. That's not too bad. If you don't like it, you can hit clear and you can do it again. I'll do it one more time, but it won't look any better. <laughs> It'll probably look worse. Do do. Okay, pretend that's an S. You will spend more time and do a better job. I just can't take the pressure because I'm recording. And then I'm going to do a save. And I'm going to save it under the name of Super Duper. <laughs> you can call it whatever you want. Super Trim, you can call it whatever you want. Uh, if it turns out you're going to be sharing this and use, helping other people as well, you want them to be able to use this amazing image because who wouldn't? Then you can export this out to a file so you can transfer it over to the computer just so you know. Eh, let's not make it complicated. I'm going to hit close and you'll see it switches over to that really sad looking S, which I don't know, it's got a little hook on the end. Now it'll ask you what images you want to apply that to. Some of you like to work with large images or large icons and some of you like to work with small ones. Just leave it at both. Let's not make this complicated. Hopefully I haven't already made it too complicated. Hit an OK to get out and it's thinking and now it's added that cool super trim to the menu. Oh yeah, now I wish I could tell you you could just type in super trim and use it, but no, it doesn't go like that. You have to get into Lisp if you want to do that. But I can take that cool tool and add it to my menu somehow. I can add it to the um, to toolbars. I can add it to the ribbon. Um, I'm going to add it to the quick access toolbar just like I did here. How do you do that? You're going to click on this arrow, drop that down, and you're going to go to more commands. This takes you to what's called the quick CUI, which is an abbreviated version of the big old CUI. Let's go find our command. Where is Super Trim? There it is. Check it out. Yay. And you just drag that baby and drop it wherever you want to on the quick access toolbar. There it is. Hit an OK to get out to save that. All right, let's see. Now the moment has come. Will it work? If I move my cursor up here, you will see that it says Super Trim. Trims with superpowers. All right, let's see if it works. I'm going to go ahead and let's do an S for Super Trim. Oh yeah, <laughs> check it out, that's awesome. And then hit an extra enter and you are good to go. Now you also have a super trim, power trim, whatever you wanna call it. You can be a superhero, you can save it with the other, you can share it with the other people in the office. Oh yeah, cause you're gonna be the envy of everybody anyway. But I suggest you share, maybe you'll even get a Starbucks out of it. Hello, how great would that be? All right, so I hope that you found this valuable add this to your repertoire, and you're going to get your job done in no time. All right, I'm going to see you back here in two more weeks. Two. Peace out.